Sometimes it feels like time stands still. Look at me and Bianca, for example. We've known each other for a while now, and it still feels like we're starting over. Hey, what about this one? No. But you didn't even look at it. I don't have time, Maggie. I'm dealing with the bracelets we have to hand out at the door. But we said we were going to stamp their hands, right? I'm not stamping people like a herd of cows. Cows? Are we talking about cows? I love cows! <laughs> It's new. It's new. It's obvious. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, you really get on my nerves when you're like this, Just okay? Just you're counting things. No, then. I don't feel like counting. Well, it'll be a lot better with your help. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. now I get why you're acting like this. You're jealous of Giada. <laughs> jealous of her? Why? Number one, it's bad manners to answer a question with a question. Number two, she's really pretty and she's been sticking to Jacques like glue all day. And three, she's his ex. And how do you know that? Quinn told me. That's why you're jealous. Me? Yeah, right. Well, students, I'd like to take this occasion to remind you all that the big concert event will be graded and will count towards your final mark. Hmm, how could we possibly forget that? You'll have your hands full with creating the sets, bracelets, and... Uh, Mookas! Mooka. Mooka? As I was saying, we create fashion here. Well, at least that's what it says in the regulations here anyway. We're looking for fresh ideas, and since makeup will certainly come into play, we've enlisted the help of our wonderful friend, Jada, a student from the Makeup Artist School. Gozi! Let's give her a round of applause. Sometimes time can come back to bite you like a runaway cat you thought was gone forever. The ghost of girlfriend's past. Bianca, inya mia. Dolores, what are you doing here? I want to take part in a concert. Are you bonkers? Look. You see, I want to dance. I was the national salsa champion. And my third cousin happens to be Julia Carabales. Julia who? Julia. It's spelled like Julia, but it's pronounced Julia Carabales. You don't know who she is? Only the most decorated salsa dancer in the whole world. See you later, guys. Quick, hide. Hey, Bianca. Hey, hey, Professor. Get out of here. I've got enough problems. I can't deal with you and Julia, Julia, Caraca, whatever. But I want to participate. No. Now get back to our room. Mm. Ah. It's a crime to waste his talent. Oh. How you girls doing? Great. Bad. What's the deal? And more importantly, are you preparing a fashion show or a concert? It's complicated, and we'll never manage it. One, don't ever finish my sentences again. Two, stop being such a Debbie Downer and go back to being your normal weird self. Could you stop making lists? It's starting to get on my nerves, all right? And I'm not a Debbie Downer. Well, you're jealous then. I'm not jealous. I'm just sick and tired of working with you, that's all. Maybe you guys just... You stay out of this. Oh, fine. You know what? I'll just mind my own business. See if I care. Poor thing. You're starting to rub off on her. She's becoming more like you every day. No way. Maggie will never be like me. One, two, three. Hey. What's wrong? Lose a follower? Look, I'm getting worried. This concert's gonna be awful if Maggie doesn't snap out of it. She's gotta get back to her old self. I can't stand her anymore. And this is new because... No, Quinn, this is different. She's mean and nasty, bad-tempered and irritable. It's like she's become... Like you? <laughs> Do you know the difference between a winner and a loser? One wins and one loses? No. There is no difference. They're both focusing on their goal and neither one enjoys the competition. I, I read that in a blog somewhere. Look, don't focus on the problems around Maggie. Think about the music. Enjoy it. And I know the concert will rock. All right? Has anybody seen Jacques? Mm, he was with that makeup artist. What's her name? Gilda Gilan? Jada. Jada, that's it. One, two, 
three. Are you counting? Me? No, why? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's acting different today, don't you think? Yeah, real different. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Giada. Jacques X, and you are? Well... Twenty! Huh? My name's Maggie. And I'm your new boss. This way! <laughs> your hair is all frizzy. You should take care of it better. And you should keep your filthy paws off someone else's boyfriend. I mean, their hair. Their hair. <laughs> All right, let's go. What are you doing? Not much. I'm just developing some pictures for the set of the big concert. Since when are you interested in what I'm doing? I need to ask you a favor. All right, let's hear it. You wouldn't happen to have a spare key to the storage closet, would you? Yeah, I do. Why? You got something that you need to do in here, too? No. I get nauseous just looking at old rugs and brooms, and with you here, it's... Th then what do you want it for? <gasps> and who are you? Well, I am the cleaning lady for a squall. <laughs> We're not cleaning. Who does cleaning dressed like that? My grandma does. And I'm almost positive that I've seen you somewhere. And is this your boombox? Now, were you dancing or not? Can I trust Jewel to keep a secret? Mm -hmm. I am the cousin of Julia Carabales. Julia, Julia who? Nobody knows I'm at the school. It's supposed to be a surprise for a big concert. I will be performing the opening dance. Cozy, that's so cool. I want to take part too. All right. That's right, and everyone will be admiring the prettiest girl there. That's nice of you to say. Not you. Good, mm. good, good. Do it all. Dance with me. Yes! yes. <laughs> On one condition. You cannot tell anyone that I am here in the squad. Mm. And me? You can play the music. I'm liking this skirt, but I'm not sure it'll work on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. <sighs> Why are you so obsessed with her? I'm just making sure she's doing her work, that's oh, all. Oh, okay? sure, sure. Maggie, why don't you just admit you're jealous so we can deal with the situation? Again with this whole jealous thing? Bianca, I told you I'm not like that, so stop wasting your time. What? Me wasting my time? Look at this. I have a reputation to uphold. Do you not understand that? Ooh, poor little Miss Perfection has a reputation to uphold. What do you think so far? Not, not now, all right? right? I can't work like this. No way! Grandpa, what are you doing here? Oh, how sweet is that? Nope. I have to learn to mind my own business. Don't interfere, Mix. Wow, Bianca's grandfather's here. He's one of the most prominent people in fashion today. That's exciting. As soon as I heard about the big concert, I rushed over here as fast as I could. I hope you don't mind me being no, here. No, I'm thrilled you're here, believe me. You'll represent my family since Dad is always busy working somewhere else. And uh, who's that girl over there? Oh, that's Maggie. She's a friend of mine. Luckily, I won't be in the school forever. Just a few more years, then I won't have to deal with her anymore. She drives me bonkers. And why do you all play music in a fashion academy? Well, we don't always play music. We're just organizing this concert to save the Milky Way. It's a school assignment we're being graded on. Excellent, and for a worthy cause as well. I've uh, always loved music. <clears throat> and now I'll get to hear you play. Maggie, where are you going? Is this all right? Yeah, it's fine. Just stay out of my way. Well, I think I better find out what's going on. She's in a mood today. Uh, sure, sure, sure. You go to your thing. I have some old friends I want to catch up with.
Oh, yes, Maffei. I have such fond memories of this place. It's the least an old student can do. Thank you so much. Oh! <gasps> oh uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, that's nothing. Just a demo design. My designs are much more gozy. Yes, but where did you find it? Uh, it was from my parents' band. And what are their names? Mm, I don't know. I never actually met my dad. But him and my mom played in a band. I shouldn't be carrying this around. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's fine. Uh, let me help you put it away. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, now, Maggie, I'm sure you're aware that this is Mr. Lombardi. Of course. Owner of one of the most prominent fashion houses in the world. He's also one of our benefactors. <laughs> and a former student. And my grandfather. Oh, Bianca. And how's that project coming along? Let me just ask my tireless partner over here. How's everything going? How do you think it's going? Mm. Come on. What are you doing? Just keep walking. <laughs> ah. Having them work together might seem like a punishment, but they really do have the ability to complement each other. Mm, I can imagine. Telling me you want to give up? Okay, okay. Now we're gonna start from the beginning. Show me your moves, Nausicaa. Move your hips like you got a hula hoop around your waist. Music! Hula hoop. Do what he is doing there. Like Edward? <laughs> Now you're dating it. Oh. Stop! We'll take a break now. Ah. Isabella, my daughter, and mother to Bianca, was engaged to a young man named Alberto a long time ago. And during that time, I wanted him to learn about the industry, so I sent him to a small fashion house in Portland, hoping he would one day take over the business he would inherit, which, of course, is our, our family business. Alberto eventually met a young girl. They formed a band together they called Over the Rainbow, and I'm sure you've already guessed it was Maggie's mother's band. <laughs> You're a smart guy down deep, uh, very deep. Anyway, one day Alberto wrote to me. He wanted to stay there with Rachel and continue to play music. Naturally, I was worried about my daughter and about her future, of course, as well as the family business. I'm sure you would have been worried as well, wouldn't you? But when I arrived in Portland, he was alone. Rachel had left him. She didn't want him to give up a brilliant future in fashion just for the sake of their little band, and she disappeared. You understand what I'm saying? Maggie and Bianca, they're half-sisters, and uh, their father he doesn't even know yet. But this has to stay between you and me. You hear? You want a tea? <laughs> <laughs> we good? Done deal, then? You want that tea or what? That is one weird guy. Want orange juice? Huh? I asked for an orange juice. Sorry, I didn't hear you because I'm wearing these. Since people always tell me, mind your own business, mind your own business, mind your own business! Well, I'm minding my own business! Could I still get that juice? Hey, guys. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. 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 Have you seen my grandfather? <laughs> what? Forget about it. <laughs> but how could I possibly accept your offer? Because you need the money, that's why. 
I know you're in the hole. But if I cut the lights in the middle of the show, it'll ruin the concert, and all the hard work Maggie and Bianca did for me will be for nothing. It's for their own good, really. Trust me on this. But they'll never talk to each other again. Exactly. No, I don't get it. Even if I tried to explain it, you'd never understand. So, can I count on your discretion? Grandpa, stop talking to all these weird people. The concert's about to start. Sure, sure, sure. She's marvelous. Are you looking for someone? No. Okay, fine then. I'm a bit jealous, all right? Oh, finally. I actually feel better. You ready then? Hey, anyone seen Jacques? He's probably glued to Jada. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. you to I changed my mind I, I, great that's really great <laughs> <laughs> where would it be all right if you cut me that one. tea now <laughs> said one That was awesome, guys. Bet you never thought we could pull it off, right? 
Not even I could buy satisfaction that feels this good. I'm almost getting choked up hearing you say that. And how about our performance? <laughs> Let's not mention that. Oh, great woman, that cousin of Julia Carabales. Yeah, but too bad she had to go, right? Oh, how nice of you to grace us with your presence. Where's Jada? Sorry I haven't been hanging out with you guys, but Jada... Man, she was driving me out of my mind. She can be impossible. I can't get her annoying voice out of my head. Wait, so you're not interested in her? Not in the least. Why? Would you have been upset if I was? What, me? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, anyway, she took off. She says everyone in the school is out of their minds. <clears throat> if I could just interrupt here. I appreciate all the money you guys raised, but um, more important than that is all the love you guys showed me. And in the end, I just think that of all... Well, that's priceless to me. This is your way of telling us we didn't raise enough money, right? I'm afraid so, yeah. I don't believe it. What more could we do? Well, we tried. And at least we might have bought a little bit of time. I got an anonymous delivery for someone named Max. Over here. That's me. Yeah? Who's paying? <laughs> it's on me. As usual. <sighs> <sighs> It's a check, and I'll be able to pay a whole year's rent with this, maybe more. <laughs> Max, is there a card? Oh, yeah, for the tea. The tea? What tea? What tea are you talking about, Max? <laughs> we gotta celebrate! <laughs> May I have this dance? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Lady? Come on! We saved the Milky Way, we helped Max, but most of all, we rocked. The Mood Boards. This is one special band.